Okay, in this video we're going to look at the campaign settings. To do that we first need to create a campaign. Select campaign, click that blue plus sign, hit new campaign. We come to a goals section. The first step in any campaign process is to determine what you want to get out of your marketing. That's why Google probably designed this. This is kind of a new way from what they have done previously in the past. So they want you to think about what your goals are. And they've given you ideas for what types of goals you probably would be interested in. Um, this is super annoying as well because the combination of goals and campaign types and campaign subtypes that you choose here determines what features will be available later. So this is not trivial. There is a specific set of combinations you need to choose if you need a certain bid strategy or ad format. So it's really important to pay attention to um, you know, the options here and how to choose them. The most generic is this, this one here is basically a no goal. You're not choosing any specific goal. You want the freedom to create whatever you want. And so I'll give you an example. So if I choose website traffic and I choose video, it says, this is where the subtype would appear, but it just says drive conversions. Okay, let's continue. So let's see what bidding option I have. I just have target CPA. Whereas if I would have chosen no goal video, now a subtype appears and I could choose standard video campaign or add sequence. Let's see what the options are for bidding if I just choose standard. Maximum CPV or maximum CPM. So I have different bidding options based on the fact that I chose these differently. A good, a good another example is brand awareness and reach, video. Look at all the subtypes here. Hit continue and we can see if I wanted to do this, I would not be able to use YouTube search results for this campaign because this subtype or goal is not available for this particular configuration. So my point is the settings you choose for the goal determine the options you have later. We're gonna choose no goal, we're gonna choose video. We're gonna say standard video campaign because I wanna walk you through the different settings now within the campaign setup. So over here on my right, I have a display campaign. Over here on my left, I have a video campaign. We'll give it a name, video-1. First thing to note is that the interfaces are different. So if you wanna create a video campaign, the video interface looks like this with budgets and dates below the first campaign name. And if you create a display campaign, locations is under the campaign name. So the idea here is the interfaces are different, but the campaign and ad group settings are very similar, if not the same. Okay, so let's talk about campaign name first. Here are my tips. I mean, it seems simple, just give it a name, move on. There are some good ideas and good tips and advice to keep in mind. First, give it a short and concise name and future-proof it. So you don't want a long name if you wanna do reporting on this later. Long names will mess up the reports in dashboards and things like that. So if you have to worry about dashboards, definitely consider how long the name is. Another thing is give it a structure. So let me show you. This is a good structure for our case. It has the type. So the campaign type, dash brand, dash bidding strategy, dash where the videos will show. For display, we could do something like this. Same thing, we have type, goal, bidding strategy, where the ads will show. Another tip is try to keep the number of campaigns you create to a minimum. And this is not necessarily a campaign naming thing, it's just more of advice for how many campaigns you're going to create. I've seen accounts with hundreds of campaigns uh, for really no good reason. For example, they're segmented by match type and keyword. Each keyword and match type has its own campaign. I'm not even kidding. Sounds interesting. I've tried it. I don't think, based on my experience, that it is the best option. There's several reasons. One, 
when you have a lot of campaigns, you have to allocate budget across those hundreds of campaigns potentially. That takes a level of sophistication. You might say, well, just use a shared budget. Well, the problem with shared budgets are they don't allocate budget to the best performing campaigns. They just distribute it across all campaigns. So you'll have some campaigns with uh, that get all the budget or most of it or a little bit or a good percentage of it, whereas other ones won't. Another thing is uh, overhead. Just managing hundreds of campaigns is daunting. So why do that to yourself when it's not necessary? Three, the aggregation of the data. So there's sparsity. There's this concept of sparsity. Google uses machine learning algorithms to decide when to trigger an ad and when to display an ad and you know when it's the best time. They do that with machine learning. The problem with machine learning is sparsity. And if you don't have a lot of data on your ads, Google doesn't know how confident it should be if you have hundreds of ads spread across hundreds of campaigns. So if you just aggregated them into one campaign, then all that data is aggregated under one campaign or one or two or five or whatever, not 200 or something. That gives Google more data to optimize its decision on whether or not to show your ad. That's a very long way of saying uh, sparsity is bad. Now I say that because with video campaigns, the problem you're going to run into is that video campaigns have settings on the campaign level that determine the ad formats that you can run. Now, don't let that just go over your head. Stop for a minute, think about that. And it's real easy for me to say because I'm in the weeds right now, but I'm gonna show you an example. So let's say we have the bid strategy set to maximum CPV and we choose I'll just type this in, A, B, C. The ad formats available to me when maximum CPV is the bid strategy is in stream and video discovery. Now let's change that to maximum CPM. We scroll down, we type in A, B, C. Now only bumper ads are available because of the fact that I chose a different bid strategy. So the bid strategy is set at the campaign level. You can't have bumper ads and in-stream ads and video discovery ads all in one campaign. So it's going to require you to create multiple campaigns because of the fact that the bid strategy is set at the campaign level. So what I'm trying to say here is that with video campaigns, you're going to have more campaigns than you're probably used to with your search or display. So those are my tips for the naming convention and in general, the onset of how we plan for our campaign settings.